obligation to present subsequent offer after an offer to purchase has been accepted by the seller. Realtor Ron had a 90-day exclusive listing on Sally Sellers' property for a price of $550,000. Realtor Ron was very active in marketing the property with newspaper ads, open houses, and distributing flyers. Just before the listing was about to expire, Realtor Ron held an open house which resulted in an offer to purchase at $15,000 less than the listed price. Realtor Ron persuaded Sally Seller to accept the offer. Since this was the best offer likely to be submitted, Sally Seller was not happy with the offer, but decided to accept it anyway. The next day, Realtor Ralph presented to Realtor Ron a full price offer from another buyer. Realtor Ron advised Realtor Ralph that an offer had already been accepted by Sally Seller and that Realtor Ron would not present the offer to Sally Seller. Realtor Ralph and his buyer filed a complaint with the association the next day, charging a violation of Article 1. At the hearing, Realtor Ron stated that he felt he was under no obligation to present Realtor Ralph's offer since the listing agreement did not specifically provide that subsequent offers would be presented to the seller. Further, Realtor Ron felt that such a practice could only lead to controversy between buyers and sellers, as well as result in breached contracts. Why get everyone in an uproar by presenting offers after one has already been accepted, said Realtor Ron. And what would I do if Sally Seller wanted to back out of the first purchase contract and accept Realtor Ralph's offer? The hearing panel found Realtor Ron in violation of Article 1, citing a lack of understanding of the requirements of Article 1. The panel noted that state law did not prohibit the presentation of offers after an offer had been accepted by the seller, that the fact that the listing contract was silent on whether subsequent offers would be presented did not relieve Realtor Ron from the obligations to present such offers, that Realtor Ron must always act in the seller's best interest and advise the seller of all offers submitted, and that should the seller wish to consider accepting a subsequent offer, Realtor Ron could have advised Sally Seller to seek the advice of legal counsel. If you want to file a code of ethics or MLS violation against a member, stand up for yourself and your client like Realtor Ralph. Contact PWR's Professional Standards Department at 714-245-5500.